Hello everybody and welcome to this new video where we'll be uh, reviewing food. You already read the title. I went to five fast food restaurants in town and bought their cheapest burger. Or for one of them, something that isn't a burger because they don't serve burgers. We'll get to that soon. So, uh, yeah, we might as well just get started in. Thank you. I can make sure that camera's all well good. Gotta take my hat off so that the shade from it doesn't feel weird because the light's right there. So it has down with that. Yeah. So we'll be starting with your standard burger from McDonald's. And by standard burger, I mean a hamburger. So let's take a bite and see where this one will go. Eh. I give it 7 out of 10. It's just okay. You know. 6 out of 10. So let's see. Our next burger for that was a dollar is the Wendy's uh, burger thing. It was just called hamburger, I think. Again, I don't know. Noticeably, the patty's thicker than the McDonald's one, but it's a lot smaller in circumference. Mm, but it's a lot bigger in taste. That's getting an 8 out of 10 from me. So next up, we have the Sonic Jr. Burger. Which is like a dollar fifty or whatever. Oh, I forgot that they came with little mints. And also fancy wrapping. So let's see. Looks promising. Sorry about that. I hate when the pickles do that. I'll, I'll throw all that trash away afterwards. Just can't help but think that the camera's a little bit off. I don't know. But yeah. This burger was pretty good. And it definitely, noticeably, the pickles were a lot stronger than the other ones. The other one is basically like a light seasoning, but this one is a major flavor. So this one is going to get another 8 out of 10. So next up we have from Arby's. I did not have... I did not buy one of their big burgers. I instead opted for the ham slider. It smells really good. Ham is like my favorite meat and just, man. Definitely has the smell of a 10 out of 10. So that's taste. Now the one issue would be that it's a lot smaller than the others. But hey. And that specific bite, I only got like mostly bread, so I'm gonna go ahead and take another one.
So the ham would make it a 10 out of 10, but quite frankly, I think there's the bread to ham ratio is a bit off. There should be the same amount of ham, but there should be a thinner bun because with that amount of ham, that thick of a bun kind of dampens the flavor. So there should be less bun on that. So I'll give it a 9 out of 10 because of the bun issue. So lastly, we have the dollar item from from Taco Bell. And as you know, Taco Bell does not make burgers. So this is a burrito. A beef burrito. Man, there's just something about Taco Bell burritos. Whenever I make a homemade burrito, it never feels or smells or tastes quite like this. It's really unique. Dang! Dang! <whistles> Might need a little bit of water with that. A little bit spicy, but... Really good. 10 out of 10. Taco Bell wins. Have a good day. You know that I'm not sponsored by any of these people, but if any of them do want to sponsor me, please do. I'm having a hard time getting a job.